Hey there, today I have some winter shoes for travel that I wanna show you. And there's another pair of shoes that I think is really fun for your next trip. Shoes for winter travel need to be able to go through different types of weather. I wore these boots to Canada and they can be dressier boots as well as for different types of weather while you are traveling. These boots go halfway up my calf. I am 5'8 and the heel is about maybe one and a half inches. It does not feel like you are walking with a heel. The inside has this beautiful velour uh, velvety lining. It's not fleece lining, which is not gonna be super hot. I just found my socks <laughs> from my Canada trip, oh <laughs> Lord. These boots are great for travel for two reasons. One, they can be worn with casual travel outfits. Number two, they can go into a dressier restaurant while still only packing shoes that you're going to wear during the day. I want you to notice when you're looking at my travel outfits that in pictures it looks like they're really close to my calf all the way up and they're not, that's not the case. There is room for your jeans and I have even fit my um, bootleg jeans down in these boots. If you look closely at this feature, there's a little notch that goes up so that it does open up a little bit around the front of your calf, if that makes sense. I wore the smooth black boot with olive green jeans. I wore them to walk on the short trail around that lake outside our hotel. These are versatile for winter travel. That means you can wear them more than one time and with more than one outfit. They help a winter outfit look more pulled together as well. This travel shoe video is sponsored by Dream Pairs. They are giving you a coupon and I will link it in the description box below. They are affordable shoes for travel. They have a wide variety of other shoe styles for you. I recommend you check it out. They have a special code, which is TIPS. You're gonna get 20% off all orders that are over $20 or you can get 25% off on orders over $85, or you can get 30% off on orders over 150. You must use the code TIPS though, in all caps. This boot or cowgirl boot goes almost all the way up to my knee. These look great for casual trips or dressy events while you're on vacation. I prefer brown with blue denim. Brown is a good neutral because it can be worn with blue jeans and it can be worn with black denim. And in Colorado, I wore the black version of these cowgirl boots with my new dress. It's so cute. I love it on me because the length is not too long and it's not too bulky of a dress. And cowgirl boots just make a travel outfit more fun. They can be worn to a restaurant like that or, and you're not freezing cold in the winter, just throw on a cardigan for your travel outfit and you look super chic for a restaurant. Black boots with black denim and a black sweater are super chic for travel. I would wear this also with blue denim for a more casual look. Even though these shoes are affordable, they are not cheaply made. And one way you know that is by checking the zippers, pulling up and down on the zippers before you buy them. Here's some travel tips for winter shoes. You wanna check the zipper threading. You're going to look at the different textures that are on that boot. For instance, the threading, the cutout, the added feature, the added little rounded parts of the boots are what you're going to look at when you are searching for quality shoes. Also check out the soles of your shoes. If there is extra padding, you're going to see it in the sole or inside the shoe. And on these boots, you can see how much padding there already is on the outer section of these shoes. And the most important travel tip is to wear your heavy, bulkier shoes onto the airplane so that you're not taking up space in your carry-on suitcase while packing those shoes. Now this heel is almost three inches high. So if that's not comfortable for you, there are other options. And one boot that is great for winter travel, especially if you're walking through the snow or gravelly wet paths like in Canada where we went, this boot is a great one. I wore these snow boots over my leggings to morning coffee in 38 degree temperatures. The fur that you see is just on the top and as an accessory or the outer edging. The inside is that same beautiful fuzzy fur. <laughs> They look feminine, but they're still rugged for travel. There's also enough room for ski pants on top of the bottom layer of winter gear, like leggings, for example. 
It does not have all day support for me and my picky foot. The boot is lined just enough. Where the boot hits your calf, you want it to be comfortable. You don't want it to cut into your skin, and none of these do. But that's just a feature that I've noticed in some of my old, really cheap snow boots. I want you to notice the grip that is on the bottom of the snow boot. That is a great feature in wet, wintry climates. We walked up some steep hills, and although it was mostly dirt then, if it's wet, it could have been slippery. This boot is waterproof, and then it has enough bed of the foundation of the shoe so that you're elevated a little bit off of the ground in case you are walking through wet grass or snow, like I said. Both boots have a zip entrance, even though there are buckles. I do not recommend wearing pull-on boots in the airport ever because I lost my balance the one time I did it five years ago. One travel tip for winter shoes is that you may not want the inside to be fleece lined. It can be lined with some kind of furry fabric, but just not the heavy fabric so that your feet are not super hot, especially if you're walking around in a different country. The fit in all of these are true to size. I will list them all below, but most of the time I wear a size eight, but I did get one shoe in the size seven slash eight, and this is these bedroom shoes that I wore to a weekend with girlfriends. It was our roommate's 28th reunion, and we all of a sudden decided to meet in St. Simons Island, Georgia. You do need to cut off this little tag or tear it off if you can. These slippers are slippery, like a lot of bedroom shoes, for the first few days. But by the last day that I was wearing them around our rental condo, your foot molds to this shoe. But look at the padding. There is padding, so I recommend that you wear them a little bit around your house so that you can embed your foot more into the shoe to make it more worn out, <laughs> more worn in, so that it is comfortable for you walking around the house with your girlfriends maybe, or on a family reunion. If you need some winter outfits to wear on vacations, I have a great video that I just released this last week about travel outfits. I have 13 outfits for winter vacation travel that will fit into a carry-on suitcase. So be sure to check out that video. And then if you haven't said hello, please say hello in the comment section. Remember that in order to see any of my links, you'll see my Christmas shirts from my YouTube channel that are for sale now. And then you're also going to see a little paragraph where I put all of the important details about what I tell you and teach you. And if you just click read more, or there's like an upside down carrot, I think right here, if you're watching me on your phone, it will take you to all of that paragraph or description box. One thing I wanna know from you is if you would travel with black shoes or brown shoes more often. All right, have fun with this video. Good luck.